I thought I would do a quick collection journal update because I have added some things and uh, stolen a few <laughs> new categories. <laughs> so, I'll show you where I am. I have decided I'm going through, I have these little sticky dots, and I'm going through and I'm putting a little sticky dot next to all of the categories that I have created a page for, because I'm starting to lose track, you know. And I think what I'm going to do is make another one of these grids to print out and put here, but make it blank so that I can write in all of the new categories that I'm adding. Because I seriously had no idea that I would be adding so many new ones. You know, when I made this list, I thought, nope, thought of everything, all done. <laughs> I was totally not correct on that. So, uh, yeah, I could probably just fill in an entire another form with all of the other ideas that I have picked up from other people. So, hopefully by the time I get this video uploaded, I will have created that and I will have a link where you can go and download yourself a blank one should you choose to do that. So, that's what that's all about. Now, uh, okay. I'm just going to flip through. Some of these have not changed at all. Some have, but I'll just look, give you a peek at each category so you can see where I am. Oh, should I call them out? Can we tell? Okay. Paper scraps, the letter A, business cards, watch faces, Red. I did add quite a few red pieces last night. I got uh, a bunch of stuff out of some magazines, which I'm going to do another video and show you what I harvested out of. I uh, finally <laughs> broke down and went through one of my issues of Frankie and one of Flo. And now that I've done it, it's easier. So that's the key. Do it once. And then it's easier. Now I'm wanting to get in, because I only have like a cup, maybe one more issue of each. And so I'm just dying to get into those and pull more stuff out because I'm getting some ideas for them. It's easier to get ideas for the stuff after you pull it out, but you got to pull it out. Just do it. It's okay. Just do it. Trust me on that. Okay, red. Uh, washi tape. Faces. Animals. I added this one yesterday, and then my animals have spilled over onto the next page. I added this one as well. The letter B. Bottles. Okay, right? This is the perfect page for that, because that big bottle was already on there, and I'm always running across bottles. And You know what? In fact, I bet I have some in my that need to go in there since this is a new category for me, a new page. I haven't gone through my binder to see if there's any more that I can add. It would be under objects. Look, bottles. See, what am I telling you? Told ya! <laughs> um, I don't think I want to do these little decorative bottles, but this, look at that fancy absolute bottle. I'll take that. I have a whole uh, big fancy coffee table book that's all about absolute vodka and their ad campaign where they do fun stuff with their bottles, you know. So yeah, bottles. It's funny that I keep all these because I don't drink, like, at all. <laughs> but I can appreciate the artistry of the bottle, and even the booze itself is lovely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I collect a lot of bottles for a teetotaler. I 
I might need to do one for boots because um, I just cut out another pair of boots the other day and it's something that I run across fairly regularly because I subscribe to Texas Monthly. <laughs> you know, there's boots in there. Oh, this one comes with the glass. That's okay. We'll take the glass too. Okay, that should do it for me bowls. So, when I finish filming, I will go back and add all these somehow, or some of them, maybe not all of them. And then I'll have a lovely bottle collection. Okay. On with the tour. These are security envelopes. I just cut into rectangles and squares. The letter C. Stars. Still just have the one. Oh, you know what? I put some little embellishment stars in here the other day. Where is it? I could stick that in there. Um, I have another one. Oh, look. <laughs> okay. Yay! I'm in better shape than I thought. Okay. I'll glue those down when we're through. Stars. Orange. Thanks to an issue of Frankie Magazine, I did good on my orange page. It is filling up nicely and it is uh, quite happy. <clears throat> Hearts. Just a few. Let's see. I think these quotes came out of Flow Magazine and those are some I had printed out for a project. I couldn't decide which font I want, so I printed like a whole page of the same quote in all these different fonts <laughs> and then chose the one I wanted. Okay, letter D. Window envelopes. Windows. <laughs> I had a couple of people ask, okay, what do you mean by that? This is what I mean by that. One of the categories is window envelope windows, I think is what I called it. And I just could envision cutting out the windows from the window envelopes and putting them on a page like so. E is very popular. Yellow is not. <laughs> F G H Squares. This is also another uh, page that I just did. Got all of these squares out of uh, I think it was Frankie magazine. Yeah, because they all have shoes on them. It was a whole thing about shoes or something. And then I had found these crossword puzzles I stuck in there for my squares. Playing cards with the flip up so I can put something else underneath. And letter I. Triangles, just a few. These actually, I, I run across a lot of giant letter M's because we have a Methodist hospital here and their logo thing is this big M. And these are the cutout sections <laughs> from the giant M. <laughs> Every time I cut one out, I end up with three triangles. So I decided I would start keeping those on my triangle page. Durr. J. Green. Labels, which is going kind of slow. It's address labels from magazines, and then I've got some food labels. But look, <laughs> I got a whole page of labels. <laughs> a friend of mine buys this um, stevia from the health food store, and it comes in this, these lovely glass amber dropper bottles. And she had this whole bag full of bottles. I mean, there's probably 20 or 30 bottles in that bag that she gave to me. Because they're empty. She didn't need them, but she saved them. And, you know, it's we're just in sync like that. 
So um, the labels were really easy to peel off. I, I soaked them to clean them out, and the labels just really, they just peeled right off. So I saved them, and then I stuck them here. Store receipts. I forget to save those. So I could have had a lot more. I just automatically throw them away. Okay. L. Giant food. Rectangles. I glued this one on last night, and it's like the one and only time ever where I've used a glue stick, stuck something down, and it instantly adhered to where I couldn't peel it back up. <laughs> so I decided to be okay with that. <laughs> M. See, these are the giant M's. See, I get a triangle here, a triangle here, and a triangle here. <laughs> okay, N. O. I probably have so many O's because I live in Houston and I subscribe to the Houstonian. <laughs> so there's a lot of O's happening there. P. Blue. I added to blue last night too. Um, these things that I think came out of a Frankie magazine. Frankie and Flo are both um, very well designed magazines. They're not U.S. magazines. Frankie, I think, is in Australia or New Zealand. Australia, maybe. And then Flo is from the Netherlands. So, you know, they're not cheap. And um, I have been blessed with several issues of each. And I love them, and I hoard them, and, you know, they are amazing because of their, the quality of the paper and the design. They are just so incredibly well designed. So that's what Frankie and Flo are, if you're wondering what in the heck I am talking about. And these, I've totally filled up my circle page, thanks to Frankie and Flo, because um, that's where most of these came from. I glued them in last night. Q. No idea why I made a two-page spread for Q, but I did. R. S. T. U. Again, Houston. <laughs> I get a lot of U's. V. W. Purple. I put this purple in last night. X. Again, why two pages? I don't know. Flowers. I added a couple there. The letter Y. And perfume pages, I still add, you know, they're just starting to layer up. And my background pages I put are just completely disappearing, which is perfectly fine. You know, they served their purpose. They gave me something pleasant to look at as I was building my collection. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep building. <sighs> tea. I got a new herbal tea the other day, so I'll be having some different bags coming up. Pink. I did these last night. And the letter Z. This time I was smart enough not to put it on both sides. <laughs> I just have a one page spread for the letter Z. <laughs> Had a rare moment of uh, intelligence there. <laughs> and stamps. And I think that's it. That is it. Um, I am just hearing lots of good things about the collection journal process. Everyone seems to be really enjoying it. Loving not only the collecting of the images, which I thought would be the fun part. You know, looking for things, searching for them, building your collection. But for me, it's not. And I think a lot of you are the same way. We are just really loving gluing bits of paper onto other because 
there is just something oddly soothing about that. So, yeah, let's keep going. Keep gluing. You know, search out your images and then just, you know, sit down on the couch and watch TV or play some music or whatever and and glue your stuff down because it's, it's very um, therapeutic and soothing and and it's simple and, and childlike. I don't know what it is, it, but it's awesome. Okay, that's it. The end.